Just a few years ago, people had to visit museums to see how magnificent these thousand-year-old cultural ruins are. But now, with the help of digital technology, people can visit China's well-known archaeological museums, such as Emperor Qin Shi Huang's museum, from the comfort of their homes. From an overview of the site down to the facial expressions of the terracotta warriors, all the relics are viewable online. We created a 20 billion pixel digital display platform in a museum where everyone can immerse themselves and see the terracotta soldiers and horses that are not usually seen. You can see each strand of hair, the eyelashes, eyebrows, beards, and his buns. It's becoming more common for museums and curators to use virtual reality and other high-tech products to create better experiences for people to explore history. During discussions in Wuhan, China's cultural heritage officials and experts attached great importance to digital technologies in protecting cultural relics and making them more attractive to the public. Digital technologies are also used to restore and repair cultural relics. Apart from these, we are also good at protecting the relics by using other high technologies. It's relatively difficult to protect the colored terracotta warriors, but through our efforts in collaboration with Germany, we achieved more progress on this. It's very hard to extra some fragile relics at the site when they were just unearthed. We initiated the use of mentho to extract them, and won second place in the National Science and Technology Progress Awards. In terms of cooperation in digital technologies with us, I think the operators of Mogao Grottoes have done a good job. We constantly innovate our digital technology to create an immersive exhibition and use the storyline showcased by the mural to give people who are not visiting the site a great online experience in exploring the legends. As a country with 5,000 years of history, and as more and more historic sites are being found, China has increased its efforts to protect cultural relics while also making them more accessible to the public. And with a lot more archaeological resources to utilize, officials say China will continue to find innovative ways to cultivate people's interest in exploring the country's ancient treasures. Gao Yiming, CGTN.